So I am Colin, this is Shine Automotive and we are back on with the race truck. I was doing a little bit of remodeling with it and we ran into some serious issues. So I was gonna do a remodeling video but it ended up not being a remodeling video because we have to do a bit more structural work because the floor basically is rotten. So I've turned this into a mini series, back on with the truck, where we're gonna try and get most of it finished. And then when I've got a bit more finances, we'll be plumbing in and doing the bathroom. And touch wood, it'll be nearly finished. Cause this truck build has been going on for ages. The XRTT, we have found a E30 shell and the lad's gonna sell us the full shell. So then we can bring it back here and cut out the screen. So that's gonna be the next episode. Racing's all going well. I need to get the truck finished for financial reasons. It has to be complete. So if we end up losing the lease on the yard because it is due up and they are doing some development, so it's a possibility we might lose the yard. That's how it is. So I could do with the truck being finished because if I need to sell it, I can use that money to try and put down to see if I could buy a yard somewhere or a big farm unit somewhere i'd love the youtube channel to be bigger so we didn't have to work on the no more boring stuff so we could just do content all week for you lot at the moment with 18,000 subscribers it is not financially viable we need to at least get to probably realistically 100,000 to 150,000 before we could even think about shutting the gates to the general public so there we go that's me waffle over enjoy this episode it's going to be maybe a four or five part episode if you've never seen the wagon before we've totally transformed an old iveco ford iveco wagon into something pretty mint so there's a link down below to that and there we go let's just crack on with today's video and i hope everyone's all right thanks for all your support on the channel waffle waffle crack on with the video well it is time now that we've got the outside of the wagon finished to finally get the little living area sorted out and i've been thinking long and hard about this all this overhead room is too much so the kitchen's coming out this seating area is coming out which might get changed for something else or i might do something else in here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the kitchen out take the seating area out and i am going to raise the flooring so we can get under storage for spares and bits because we are so cramped when we go racing so i need to work out how much i'm gonna raise all this area them cupboards can stay in all we're doing is is coming up there so i'm gonna have a measure around and work out that's if i don't fall asleep and work it out because we've raced now since we couldn't get the fiesta in with it being very open to the air and it can be very very cold and i've just finished working and it's three days off because it's a bank holiday so i'm going to attempt to try and get the flooring up on the bank holiday and some cubby components sorted out so a lot of the spares you'll be able to access from the back of the garage underneath i've got some reclaimed osb boards i've got some steel off john i don't know how much of this i'm going to time lapse i have no, no idea the bedroom area is nearly done just got to sort out the landing area and then dropping down to here with it being higher you'll be able to step up to here a lot easier to get up into the bedroom because if you've got somebody sleeping here what we've been doing is stamping there and if they're sleeping and it's a 24 hour race you're disturbing their sleeping right do i put it on a timer can't ask you that now because I'm filming it. I really think I should. I really think I should. I'll get the cushions out of the way and a few other bits and I'll set the camera up. And we'll just get ground down. If you don't know me, I'm Colin. This is Shine Automotive for a car project YouTube channel. And we have loads of projects on the channel and we have loads of stuff going on. But this wagon I've had for a long time and I need to get to a standard where it's finished because if lease doesn't get opened back here i need some equity to be able to sell this and i'd get a lot more money with it finished so i need to use my time to get it finished that's what we're doing in today's episode and i don't know how long it'll take to do but we just need to get as much done in the next three days as humanly possible
Right, so the next bit is to fit that door into here. Now this wagon has always been a bit soft here in this corner. So I've always planned when I got round to raising the, the level of the interior roof for storage that I would put that locker there. I know I've just painted the truck, but if I do it right, I'll only have to sheet round and paint the door and the bit of sealer that's come on. And I'll use foam edging and we shouldn't get a line round there anyway. You can sort of see where it's a bit gone there. So, so basically you need to cut out along there, work out the door and fit the door. So that's the next bit. Get that in, get that glued, and then I can work out the level of the floor inside. <laughs> It's all going down today. Right, so I've got it measured out and I hope it's right because I aren't the best at measuring things, but I need to get these right for this one. Don't I? Right, got the F1 on as well at Monaco. That's not doing too good. It's a bit of a boring race. So, as always, Cling Spa, diamond tools. This is the all, all cut tool because I don't have a jigsaw and I need to get my hand in my pocket and buy myself my walkie jigsaw. So, these are the all cut blades that they've got and we're going to give this a whirl and see if it's any good and no doubt with all the products that we use it's going to be fantastic i want to use it on some plastic because apparently it's really good for plastic you know if we've got to shape the bumper on the race car it's really good at doing that so that's something i'm looking forward to trying to use it on a bit of plastic as well because normally i do use a slitting disc but these apparently are a lot better so we'll just give it a whirl and hope this isn't wonky i'd rather it be too short and i can cut it out more but obviously being a bit soft i think i'm gonna have to do some work on the inside but at least it gets rid of that soft panel corner so it, it, it looks square <laughs> Here goes nothing, and I am scared. Ta -da! I can't believe I did it. Cannot believe I did it. Well, now I need to sort out the dampness in that corner and I'm probably gonna put a blow eater in there and just dry it out and then just take out the damp bit along the bottom and just reboard that and glue that all up from the inside. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look what's Chris going on here. There we go, I'll put my headband on. <sighs> so I'm glad really, because it's time to sort out the dampness in this corner. It's been like it since I bought it. So what I'm gonna do is just take this all the way out, cut that all the way along there, and then reboard all this. It goes solid there, so I'll just trim. I'll just trim down there, and I'll hack all this out, and I'll reboard all this, get it dry, and then we'll reboard, glue that all in, and then that's the bottom part of the frame. So yeah, let's uh, just carry on working. I can't believe how well I've done that. It's really nice. this damp corner I think I'm gonna just cut the floor like that put an L piece in where I might cut all that bit off I don't know yet I'm gonna take all the this shit down and then have a look I didn't expect the floor to be that damp though
proper sick. My grinder give up. Mind you, it does some have some ammo. So I'm going to send the grinder off on the, when they're open. It's bank holiday today uh, to get that from screw fix. So I'm going to send my grinder off. And at least I've got one for flapping and cutting. Because I'm always changing one over. So hopefully it'll fix. Hopefully she'll fix wherever she is. And then right there. Tools, man. Unfortunately. my board i haven't gone with the rhino board which is the the standard trailer board stuff but what i'm doing now is i am just sealing up the gaps so that stops it being a sponge and once i've gone all the way around there let it dry won't take long to dry and then i'm going to pva both sides of the board and if i've got some kicking around i'm going to stain the side that goes underneath or i might even just lather it in the engine oil you know just to give it some protection got plenty of engine oil around not every one of you is going to be a fan of me right now, but when you ain't got a paintbrush, right, and you need to be off, you're just going to have to sacrifice, aren't you? It's a brush, the wrong sort of brush, but needs must. It's a lovely sunny day, and if I get these covered, I can just cover it, can I? So I'll just crack on. Some of you might say, oh, you need to pull it out, put rhino board down. Yeah, but if I'm made of money, whatever, a rhino board is a fortune. So I'm making do with what I've got. note to self yeah the pva doesn't work it's, it'll dry but i'm gonna just put that on the bottom side it's got nothing to soak into because the crease sort of done it all i don't know why i didn't think of that but there we go give you something to laugh at you see i could have not put that on there and pretended that it all went swimmingly well but there we go i'll just let that dry <laughs> right we've got these bits down now and they're glued in place we've cut the rest of the bit there to there and that's all good now and then this piece of checker plate we were given so hopefully it's going to go down whatever you do try not to scratch the walls higher up you're not so bad on this side because it's the kitchen scratch the kitchen side is all right okay right. Roll that way, I think, well i stuck on a thing here you know, if you could get your end out, right? <laughs> like that, and then you get this fucking end around like that. <laughs> Who said my measurements were bad? <laughs> this wall here. <laughs> Mate, it's fucking in. It's in, it's down. There's nothing not straight about my measurements. Don't know whether you want to. Are you going to peel with it that? Or you can take screws. Just what? Take screws. <laughs> I don't know what you prefer. Oh, whatever. I peel with it the, the other ones, but I don't know if the peel route is long enough. Nice. Well, Nathan comes to help and he knows what he's doing. What's this? I look like, bloody <laughs> I look like Superman. I don't know. Right, we're going to put the bolts on the side there. Yeah. Now that we've got it all back together and I had to go and weld the car so Jake and Nathan took over there so thank you for that. This was a piece of checker plate we were kindly given one. Because it's under floor storage it is going to be fine. We've bought another one that is coming tomorrow for down here. 
What I want to start is doing the, the framework so then we can start working out what storage we've got underneath. Now this is sat higher but this is going to be where one of the back beds is so we are angling this down slightly so then when we put the gazebo in it's a bit easier for us. We had no option we couldn't sit this door low down because of the outside rails so that is where that to lie but you won't see the angle because that will be where one of the sofas is. So right now I'm going to cut this first piece of steel and I'm not going all the way to the end because that is where there was a vent for the fridge now that vent will be going up from that one so that will become the bottom one and the other one will become up the top one it might be a bit closer but there we go because i'm going to use that space there to put another little door in which will access the wires for underneath the kitchen and we're going to put another leisure battery in there which will be closer to the fridge because we have issues with the distance from the leisure battery from over there to there so we're going to have two leisure batteries separated in the truck or i move both leisure batteries there we'll just work this out we're just going to work it out as we go along some of these bits so but i'm not taking the, the steel all the way to there because that'll be awkward for putting the door in so i'm going to stop two foot away which is just that mark there and that's where the kitchen lies so this will be sort of boxed in as its own sort of lock separate area so first bit we'll cut that piece of steel down there then we'll frame up to our floor height which is 303 come along to there and, that, and that's going to be the difference where we have to angle it down but i'm going to probably slant it down for about two foot because you've got like two and a half foot on the bed so as long as i've got the, the right place to put the legs the back gets mounted to the wall anyway and i can always cut the legs down shorter if i need to to sit on the bit of box that i'll probably run up there so i'll get that one down then we'll get the one at the height along here with probably a leg every so often so yeah that's what we'll do i'll stick it on a time lapse and work away because this is really stabbing the dark for me and i'm going to get the main frame and work out the supports and the extra braces where I need to as I go along you know we'll just, we'll just work away but this is a space that we've got that's all ready to get the kitchen in I said kitchen I meant bathroom happy with all the bedroom at the top and the wardrobe but obviously we drop down here and we've got to come out seven inches to allow for the fiesta to get in and this is where the final one if I ever change a class and the car won't fit in the back it's either the wagons go in or we're just going to get a trailer because this this has been a headache because all this was finished but I'm glad in a way because we wouldn't have come across the very soft floor that needs Needed sorting. So, alright, yeah, just waffle over. Let's just start laying some steel. Thanks for watching, and the second part will be coming up soon. There's a massive playlist, all the links are in the description. See you in the next one.